Breakfast hash is a great griddle meal. It's just perfectly made for this piece of equipment because you can just really customize it any way you want. You just need a meat, a potato, some veggies, and then throw some eggs on there. And you could do ham with sweet potatoes, you could do bacon with Yukon Gold, you could do canned potatoes, you could do frozen potatoes, and you could add some sausage or chorizo, or it doesn't really matter, anything you want. Uh, you could really do hamburger too if you wanted to. A little weird, but I don't think it'd be terrible. It's almost like a breakfast stir fry, if you think of it that way. So it's completely customizable. It's also a great way to clear out your fridge from just like crap that's sitting in there, like half an onion, a pepper, four eggs, and just kind of throw it all together in some delicious breakfast. So it's definitely a great griddle meal you should try. I got four of them. Let's take a look at them. Our first breakfast hash is a camping breakfast hash. That is sausage, some pre-scrambled egg beaters, peppers and onions I diced up, a little bit of cheese, Mexican style cheese, some canned potatoes, because this was supposed to be for camping, just, you know, so we're not using fresh potatoes, just something easy to take with you on the campsite. Blackstone breakfast seasoning, some tortillas, and of course, hot sauce, chipotle, Tabasco hot sauce. This all fits in the mini cooler, because when you're camping, you know you have your one cooler of beer, your second cooler of backup beer, and then your mini cooler of food, so... That's the idea with this one. That's why we're not using as many fresh ingredients and it's already done. So here, look, this one's so, so easy. This is your basic breakfast hash. I mean, you're doing meat, potatoes, veggies, right? That's all you're doing. And then you're going to put the seasoning on all of them. They all went down on the griddle at the same time. You're putting your seasoning on all of them. Now, these potatoes, since they're in a can, are like kind of par cooked a little bit so they don't need as long if you're using fresh potatoes you might want to put them down earlier or cook them there goes our tortillas our sausages cooked up peppers and onions make a little dam kind of just a little hole in the middle there that will help contain these eggs as we're just pouring them right on the sausage for this scramble mix up thing here and then don't forget the cheese you gotta add the cheese you know i mean it's just oh if you're not adding cheese you're not even living you know what i mean so again, mix it all together, fold it into a little burrito, kind of like a McDonald's breakfast burrito, or eat it as is. I mean, it's just a big scrambled hash. So easy, so good. Next, we're gonna do a bacon hash. Those are red skin potatoes that I put in the microwave for roughly, uh, I don't know, five minutes with a little bit of water and just to steam them down a little bit. Then you can see where we got our griddle on low and then that left side, we're keeping it towards medium, which is closer to like 400. We're gonna move those potatoes down into the bacon grease, put down some onions, some toast. We're just, there's all sorts of good stuff. Our onions are mixed up. Our potatoes are almost done because they were already par cooked a little bit. Lift up that bacon, make sure that doesn't burn. Flip our toast, you could have buttered it. I didn't save this giant pat of butter for the eggs basically and just let the toast kinda toast itself up. Texas toast. Still waiting for that sponsorship from Texas Toast. Don't have it, but a man can dream, right? Just one day, want to live in a world where people send me free Texas Toast. But anyways, I digress. Here comes the scrambled eggs. Pour them down slowly. Um, I got my gloves on because it's freezing cold in Ohio right now. And just let them kind of set up and then throw some tomatoes down. I just want to get a little bit of the griddle, you know, heat on the tomatoes. Don't leave them too long. They'll get disgusting. They'll just get like broken down and stuff so you really got to do those last after the eggs assemble everything together on um, my little blue plate here eggs potatoes onions a little bit of bacon there goes the tomatoes on there for a pop of color and we can't forget about our toast we also got the toast and the bacon it and this is the star of the show is goat cheese I'd highly recommend trying goat cheese on your eggs if you've never had it it goes great it's soft delicious goat cheese bacon hash more red potatoes that i again put in the microwave and you can see here it's a little more this is my little microwave safe container my mom got for me i'll put the link down in the description like i said with oh watch out there's my mcdonald's coffee get out of here um but it just has a lid so you can drain the water so that's the fancy part thanks mom appreciate it see i'm using it in the videos anyways um we're doing this chorizo hash with the red skin potatoes. That was some chorizo going down out of the tube there. Make sure the potatoes get flipped. I like to use a weight this time because I want to get a nice color. Oh, little 
snag of the spatula right there. Don't know if you caught that, but I did catch it. Um, potatoes down. More tortillas. I love tortillas if you haven't picked up on this for breakfast. They're just a quick, easy way to make a breakfast taco out of this hash. Mixing the potatoes, chorizo together. Dropping some eggs for myself. I'm going to do sunny side up on these eggs. And some jalapenos also for myself. My wife doesn't like it this spicy, but this part of the meal is for me. Then here come the scrambled eggs for my wife and for my son. They both like scrambled eggs, but I like mine sunny side up. And they look prettier that way for the video, if we're just being completely honest. And then there on top is a little bit of the Mex Mexican cheese, the cajita. I'm sure I mispronounce it, but that's what it is. Jalapenos. Um, and then just top it off with salsa, sour cream, lime. I mean, cilantro. Delicious. So this is a leftover ham that I smoked. I got sweet potato, onion, pepper. We're going to peel down this potato and do like a ham and sweet potato breakfast hash. Very good. Very easy. You know, just kind of dicing up our onion here. Making sure we get everything nice and even without cutting your finger off. And then here comes the green pepper. Doo, 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 doo. Look at this. I'm just going all the way with this knife. So look, I kept things kind of big on this one. The peppers and the onions, I kept kind of big because eh, I just wanted them to be the same size as the sweet potato. So that the whole hash kind of had a real chunky feel to it, you know. Um, our griddle's ready to go. It's around 375. Same container I used in the microwave for the sweet potatoes I used for the other potatoes. Salt, pepper, garlic going down there. A little bit of paprika. Um, and you can adjust these hashes any way you want, you know. Really just have fun with it. Do whatever you want. Change it up. These are just the way I did them. There goes our peppers and onions. I had to do these sweet potatoes for a while because I really wanted to make sure they got cooked through. And got a decent amount of color on there. So I kept them down first. There's my green pepper and onions I tried these rolls to go with it I just kind of warmed them up they're okay there is that ham that honey baked ham that was left over that I smoked on my big green egg put that down you're really just warming that up that's why the ham went down so late there goes two eggs again these are some sunny side up eggs that just turned out fantastic I like to pull the whites out a little bit just to kind of really make sure the whites set up on those sunny side up eggs you don't want any of that white to just still be like runny and stuff you want the yolk to be runny but the white to cook all the way through so i just pull it out a little bit there mixing everything together bringing over our rolls there's the blue plate again the old blue plate special sweet potato hash that's what we're calling this one delicious add my eggs can't go wrong if you like these recipes you also like the ones on your screen now thank you for watching and keep on griddling friends